The Morgan Report with David Morgan. This is David Morgan with the weekly perspective for the week ending 26 April 2019. Well, this will be audio only. I'm in Seattle, Washington, and forgive the background music. I'm in the hotel lobby as I'm doing this. But the first headline up is World Central Banks Want More Gold. Very interesting that uh, as this unwinding continues, we see that the central banks <clears throat> are buying more gold. Royal Bank of India may buy another 1.5 million ounces this year, according to the OCBC. Many other central banks, including large creditor bank nations, Russia and China, are also adding their gold holdings. And this was from Bloomberg. India's central bank is likely to join the counterparts in Russia and China, scooping up gold this year, adding to its record holdings and lending support to worldwide gold bullion demand as top economies diversify their reserves. This, of course, is on top of gold breaking the 1280 support level <clears throat> down in the 1270s. Bounced up later in the week. It's finding the bottom here, I believe. But the fundamentals really have never looked better and follow the central banks. They know what they're doing and they're buying gold for a reason. Some of the other headlines this week that are important for us in the financial community. Soaring health care costs jeopardize retirement in America. Retirement means something quite different in America today. It's basically laboring in old age for so many people out there that are working at McDonald's or minimum wage jobs because they either didn't plan a retirement, the retirement they planned, the company folded, the pension wasn't there that they expected, and on and on. There's a variety of reasons, but the point being that uh, things that seem at times to be safe and secure, even with these, some of these larger corporations, aren't necessarily so. Next headline is cash winning the war on cash. John McAfee vows to unmask crypto's Satoshi Nakamoto, then he backs off. Max Kaiser says Bitcoin is a peer-to-peer -peer gold. And he said, fight me. The challenge is accepted by U.S. firm Genesis, saying it's loaned more than $1.5 billion in cryptocurrencies. Flashpoints. The U.S. exempts foreign entities working with Iran's Revolutionary Guard from the terrorist designation. Now, give that a double think. If we aren't in uh, 1984 or Orwellian society, I don't know what tells you more than that. Putin and Kim announced that the U.S. is irrelevant. And I have to say that uh, the U.S. hegemony worldwide, global, not only global currency, but global police force is waning. Uh, it's being tested. This is an example of several that the United States is losing, uh, not only its status as a reserve currency, but also its status as the biggest bully on the block. Thailand ties, excuse me, toes Bitcoin traders floating home. Owners may face death sentence. <laughs> The United States is putting Saudi Arabia on the fast track to nuclear weapons. This one, of course, is something to be most concerned about. The Russia-China polar silk road challenges British geopolitics. And that's about the amount of headlines I'm going to do this week. Uh, brief comments on uh, the gold and silver markets. Gold, as I said earlier, 1280 mark has been breached, and I don't think it's got further to fall, but many do believe that it's got one more really big washout before it starts to climb up. Again, I'm not in that camp. On the silver side, I talked a week or two ago about the World Silver Survey has been issued and that even though things look brighter in 2018 relative to what they were previous year, they are not nearly as robust as the heyday when silver and gold were basically the leading commodities for quite some time, gold from 2000 through 2000, 2011. I do believe the bottom is in. There's many ways to look at it, not only the price, of course, which would determine whether or not the bottom's in, but also the HUI index, the XAU, <clears throat> and several of the ETFs. So I don't think we have to fear a, a bottom, a new bottom in these metals, but we certainly have some backing and filling to do. Once we breach the 1300 level in gold again, I believe it'll stay this time. And once that is accomplished, then we have to break through the 1350, 1360 level. I also believe that will be accomplished this year. There's too many things that I give out in these reports and that the rural community at large is aware of that is a basis for fundamentally moving gold prices higher. So that will conclude this week. I'll be back with you next week, Paul, the video segment. This is David Morgan signing out.
Hello, I'm David Morgan, publisher of The Morgan Report, and as some of you may already know, The Morgan Report is about money, metals, and mining. In fact, we cover all resources, from rare earth elements to precious metals. I've been publishing on the internet for about 20 years. My primary passion is to help people build and preserve their wealth. I love to make people millionaires. I've helped thousands of people via our research in The Morgan Report, which has thousands of paid members and 10 times that amount on our free weekly updates. Here's what you'll receive from our free newsletter. To the point webinars, week analysis of the financial markets, interviews and our conference schedule, special reports such as riches and resources and various metals price forecasts. Our paid service client base is primarily small to medium sized business owners professionals in the industry, or the seasoned investor who understands markets and the value of precious metals. My area of expertise includes equity analysis throughout the resource sector, energy metals, base metals. We cover startups to billion dollar corporations. We focus on a special sector that makes money regardless of price oscillations and the importance of precious metals due to the ongoing currency devaluations. Our team of three analysts and support staff can help you build and protect your wealth. It's important for you to know what other people have said. We're passionate about what we do. High integrity and trust. Tell the truth and own it. If we're wrong, we admit it. Take a long-term outlook with major assets and bet a little to win a lot with speculative situations. If you choose to become a client, you will gain financial insights very few even professionals recognize. You'll understand the importance of honesty in our financial system. You will understand how the money system influences almost everything in your life. You'll be prepared for the ongoing currency crisis. And finally, I've chosen to make my life's mission greater than the individual, which means my mission statement is to teach and empower people to understand the benefits of an honest monetary and financial system. It's been a great journey so far and the best gains in the sector lie ahead over the next three to five years. I'm fortunate to have earned the status of being a leading authority in my field and helping others protect their wealth. You can email me at support at themorganreport.com or call my office at 480 325-0230.